Now, over a million Palestinians have been told to relocate south as Israeli forces continue to gather on the border with Gaza. But the United Nations considers the demand impossible, warning of devastating humanitarian consequences. The Defence Secretary, Grant Shapps, joins us now. Good morning to you. Terrible, gruelling, grim times we're in, aren't they? Were you aware, was the British government told of uh, this warning of the movement of some million people south and, uh, and the devastating consequences and, indeed, this build-up um, we've seen on the border. Warning, and yes, you're right, it's incredibly grim times, which is one of the reasons why I've sent some military uh, assistance to the region, which no doubt we'll get on to. Uh, but yes, we, we've been saying, of course, Israel was, was hit with these terrorist attacks at the weekend. We've been saying to Israel, uh, it is very important to act in accordance with international law. That means providing warnings for civilians in advance where you're going to take action. Obviously, something Hamas never did. Uh, but uh, And everyone from President Biden, the Prime Minister, myself and others have been making that point. I guess uh, one of the concerns must be for everybody in the region, but also I wonder how many British citizens or those uh, with dual nationality and their dependents have contacted the Foreign Office in order to get help to get out, because the logistics of getting those numbers safe is enormous. And, of course, contacted in Israel too. Yeah, yes, across the region, so including Israel as well as the territories, there's the probably 50 to 60,000 people. Many of them, as you say, will be uh, joint nationalities. There have been far fewer people in Gaza, for example, but uh, the Prime Minister has spoken to the Egyptian president about assisting with getting those uh, people out. Uh, the Foreign Office has set up a number for people to call, and a low number of thousands of people have, have called that number. Uh, and the Foreign Office is organising uh, flights as well, of course. So all of that is going on in the background. One of the things I did yesterday, in addition to directing both ships and aircraft to the area, was also uh, put more intelligence personnel in the area to assist with that type of humanitarian side of things. Mr Shapps, are we more clear on how many British citizens are stuck in Gaza mm. or indeed whether some of those hostages that have been taken by Hamas are British citizens as well? Yeah. So we, we don't, I'm afraid, have um, specific details on, on those things, uh, although we are gathering uh, a, 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 as clear a picture as you can in, a, in, in what is, by its very nature, a very difficult, complex uh, situation. Uh, but as I say, it's one of the reasons that I've sent uh, more personnel uh, both to, uh, to, to to Israel and to the wider area in order to make sure that we're properly assisting uh, the British population or those with dual nationality who are trying to leave. Yeah, uh, there, are, there are, I'm sure, as you know, a number of British uh, citizens in Gaza. Is the expectation that some of them could well have been kidnapped? Well, uh, it, I don't want to get into too much speculation on it. Uh, and there are things that I can't sort of directly sort of confirm or deny in, in this. But I think um, given the scale of the kidnapping carried out by uh, Hamas, we must, of course, steel ourselves for that very real possibility. When you look at the logistics of a million people trying to move through such a small area with limited ability to actually get out, limited ability to get into Egypt, I, you can see why the UN says that it's going to be mm. almost impossible and that the consequences in humanitarian terms are going to be devastating for those in Gaza. Not, not in any way, of course, to reduce the horror that we've seen uh, at the weekend and, and Israel, on Israel's side, if you like. But it feels like in the next 24 hours, if unbelievably, things are going to get worse. Yeah. I mean, the difficulty, I think, here is that you've had a situation... I've just come back from the meeting of NATO defence ministers in uh, in Brussels, uh, where we were shown the actual video of mass-verified cutting heads mm. off, uh, dragging bodies, sometimes headless, through the streets and the rest of it. Um, Hamas's entire intention is not just to destroy Israel, but to murder every Jew. Mm. Uh, they provide no notice at all. Now, Israel, as we've said all along, has the absolute right to defend itself and will want to go after those Hamas terrorists. The problem 
that they have is those terrorists embed themselves in the civilian population, use the civilian Palestinian population as human shields, and even yeah. advise them not to move. No, because they don't care about I loss mean, of life. What we've seen that to with this morning, and I don't mean to interrupt you, but that, that's precisely my point, that it feels as though we're sitting on the sidelines, you and your office, us in our warm studio, on the precipice of, of inconceivably, when we've seen the horrors so far, of more and more horror with, with no ability to stop it. Well, yeah, I mean, look, I, I don't want to... It is a very worrying situation, you're absolutely right, but that is precisely why... Uh, I've sent uh, some military assistance and specifically uh, two ships, one of which can provide humanitarian uh, aid, uh, helicopters, uh, aircraft to do monitoring and surveillance work, and also the whole package designed as really a deterrent to stop malign external influences uh, and interference from right. the wider region. Because whilst what we're talking about in uh, Israel, in Gaza, uh, is bad enough, uh, it would be much worse still if other uh, countries and other terrorist organisations decided to get involved. So there are things that we can do and are doing, and I also mentioned uh, that we have in, in, in other intelligence officers uh, also assisting with the process. So we are trying to do what we can. Yeah. It's not a straightforward situation. No. We do think that Israel has the right to defend itself, but as President Biden says, they need to act within international law. Part of that is warning people yeah. uh, before... Uh, they go after these Hamas ter ter terrorists who deliberately use the population as human shields. Mr Shapps, can I ask about you personally? You are Jewish. You're very proud of your Jewish heritage. You have Jewish family, of course. I wonder how your family have reacted to what's happened in Israel and whether you've had personal anecdotal um, messages from family members who suddenly feel under threat. We had one of our colleagues and friends, Rob Rinder, on the show yesterday... Mm -hmm who interviewed his mother, who said she loves being British, she loves being here, but she's never felt more vulnerable because she is Jewish. I wonder what your experience or your family's experience has been and how you are coping. Yeah, I mean, look, I, 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 it is having a big impact on, on everyone, a lot of people in the community. I, I just heard from a friend who said he's not sending his children to school today, for example. Having said that, you know, Britain is a fantastic and very tolerant country that looks after all of its population, no matter its uh, its religion or, or no religion at all. And we saw the Prime Minister on Monday night go to a synagogue. I think that was of great uh, reassurance to the British community. We've seen the government step up, the, the Home Secretary, um, step up with uh, money to the Community Security Trust, which is designed to protect Jewish organisations. Um, but to make the wider point, we want all communities to feel safe in this country. Unfortunately, we do live in one of the most tolerant countries in the world. There's no doubt at all. It's a worrying time uh, for everyone. And um, as I say, it's one of the reasons why one of the countries who can do something by sending resources to the region in order to try to keep a lid on this not turning into a wider regional and therefore potentially international conflict as well. Uh, you probably are more across information than we are, but we're just hearing that Hamas are claiming, Hamas are confirming, whatever the language is, that uh, 13 hostages have been killed by Israeli airstrikes in Gaza. Do you know anything of that? And is that something that you fear? Well, first of all, I wouldn't believe anything. Mm -hmm. Hamas, a terrorist organisation who, in their very charter, don't just want to destroy Israel, they want to destroy every Jew. Uh, I wouldn't believe what they would say necessarily. Secondly, though, of course, uh, we know that this is a, a very difficult situation. They can ask us to resolve this, of course, simply by releasing the hostages, as simple as that. Mm -hmm. They're believed to have about 150 or so hostages that they could release immediately and help to bring this horrendous, horrific uh, situation to a close. Uh, the, 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 they, they have no interest in in, in solving it, they, they don't care about their own population uh, either, which is why they use them as human shields and hide uh, in the basements of, of, of civilian homes. So uh, I, I would I would treat with caution, uh, but still with deep concern for these types of reports. OK, uh, Mr Shapps, we're going to have to leave you there. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, if you have been affected by any of the issues we've just been discussing, uh, you can find support and advice on the website itv.com forward slash helplines.